Hey YouTube, today we're going to go over a quick program here to uh, find prime numbers based on a user input. Um, this one is a little complicated. Um, it's not too difficult though if we break it down step by step. Basically what we start off with is just a simple print statement saying uh, welcome to the program. Then we set a variable to x. Um, we're going to make sure that variable is an integer and then we're going to ask them to please enter a positive integer. Um, if x is greater than 0, which means it's a positive integer, then we can continue with this code right here. Else, we come down here to our else statement. If it is a negative number, we'll print out that this is not a positive number. Please try again. So once we do uh, test and validate that the integer inputted is a positive integer, we'll print out that this is a positive integer, and then we continue on with our code here to find the prime numbers. So basically we take a list, um, we're going to call it A, and we're going to take that list in the range of 2 to X, which X, as you remember, is our integer that we input up here. For X in A, so basically we're going to set X to step through in the loop um, through every item in the list of A. Uh, we're going to put that into a um, new list called comp, and it's just going to be a blank list for now. Now we're going to do another for loop nested inside of that for y in range a dot index um, of x times the length of a. Basically what this means is that we're going to take y, um, assign it to each individual item inside of this new uh, range that we're creating um, with our a list. And we're going to take the index of x, which um, if you remember x up here starts off with the very beginning of the list, which should be 2. Um, so the uh, index should start off at 0 and then length will start off with uh, say we put in 100 um, as our integer up here for this variable the length will be 99 or 100. Um, we come down here and do this little bit of math here we take a new variable called q and uh, we equal it to x times a which um, is our list multiplied uh, it's multiplying by a um, and then the specific value of where y is listed um, inside that list there. So when we type this through, it's going to loop through every single time and change. So that A is going to be um, basically creating a new variable um, every single time that it goes through this loop here. Now if Q is greater or is uh, less than or equal to the maximum that A, uh, the list A is, um, basically it's going to append right down here to our um, composites um, list that we created. So what it's basically doing is taking and finding all the composite numbers through our entire um, list A, which basically has every number listed, say, from 2 to 99. Um, it's going to take all the composite numbers from that and then append them into the composite list that we created empty up here. Um, so that we have all of our composite numbers in one and then we just have a master list with all the numbers from 2 to 99 and another. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to take and assign this uh, Z to basically every um, thing in uh, this comp here and uh, basically how we do that is um, with this for loop here so it's going to step through this list comp and it's going to assign itself to every value as we step through each time. So say if we have x set to 100, or there's 100 items in there, it's going to step through 100 times and assign itself and remove itself from the master list A. So by doing that, it's basically removing all the composite numbers from our master list, which has every number inside of it, thus leaving only the prime numbers remaining. And then we print out our master list A for us. Um, like I said, it's a little complicated to understand. Um, I know the notes here may not be a little, uh, it may not be any more helpful. Um, it really took me a little bit to understand exactly what was going on here. Uh, but it works pretty well. If we hit F5 here, um, you'll see that it says, Welcome to my prime numbers program. Please enter a positive integer. So say we enter the, uh, 1000 as our prime integer here. Um, it's verifies that this is a positive integer and then it goes through and lists every prime number all the way from 2 up to uh, 997 and then we have just this little thing at the bottom that says thank you for using my program have a nice day uh, like I said it is a little confusing but if you break it down piece by piece you can kinda get an idea of what's going on um, so we're taking this for loop here and taking X and assigning it to every single uh, 
object basically inside of this list A and then we just create a uh, a blank list here for the composite numbers and then we're going to take this Y here and then assign that um, every time it steps through the loop into a new range of where the A dot index of X is basically X starting off at 2 and continuing to move forward and then the length of A um, depending on how many of the uh, items or objects are inside of that list so basically it creates a new a uh, Jeez, I lost my train of thought there. Uh, basically creates a new range to go through every single time we loop through that. And then we do this little bit of math here. Um, we figure out what the composite numbers are and then we append them into the composite list and then we just basically assign Z to all those composite numbers and then remove them from our master list just leaving the prime numbers left. Uh, this works extremely fast. It's uh, actually a pretty old method of how to do this. It's been around supposedly for over 2,000 years. Um, for solving prime numbers, I can't remember the exact name of uh, what it's called, but uh, hopefully this helps, and uh, I know it looks really confusing, I'm sorry about that, this isn't one of the easier programs that uh, we have, but it does work with some of the uh, loops and uh, conditional statements, along with doing some uh, simple math to find out um, the composite numbers and such and also working uh, with lists and appending and removing things from lists as well as working with indexes and the lengths of lists as well and ranges so it's got quite a bit of information packed inside of it if you don't understand a certain aspect of it you can always google search it and figure out more about it um, there's a lot of great documentation out there that goes through and talks about exactly what each individual item does I had to do that a couple times in some of this here because it's been a while since I've done anything like this um, and so I had to go and kind of refresh myself on exactly what did what, um, especially with like the A dot index. Um, I haven't worked with lists as much as I would have liked to, so I had to go back and look and see exactly what that was doing. Um, also go into your interpreter and you can type this stuff out step by step um, and kind of play around with it to see exactly what it does and that's how I kind of figured out what was going on here was I just kind of played around to see exactly what it was doing as it stepped through the program so that I could get a uh, detailed understanding of exactly what was going on so uh, sorry that this is a little long-winded video here but um, hopefully that helped you guys out you can do this um, quite a bit and it's a lot of fun find all the different prime numbers so I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions please just uh, hit me up uh, in the comment section or in my private message box I'll be more than happy to help you out alright guys thank you and have a wonderful day